Good morning, everybody. It's Lisa. I want to come on and film a empties video for you. And yes, you'll see the same outfit. Which I just filmed a empties wax and wallflower refills. Um, so now I need to film an empties. And I have my bag sitting here. <clears throat> and it's almost full. So I really want to go ahead and go through it and get rid of the trash. Um, these are right on top. I Yes, I am still using these. Uh, but do they work? For me, they didn't. Um, I bought these for nerve pain that they said I might have in my feet. And I don't know. I didn't see any improvement. Unfortunately, they cost a lot of money. I had them too long I couldn't send them back for a, ref a refund but I wouldn't recommend them it just it just did not work for me with my nerve pain that I have so yeah okay I have a box of gloves that I went through I still have my husband's gloves um, and I use them for like when I had to put on like stinky icy hot or any kind of uh, like, you know, um, I can't even think what I'm trying to say. Like, Icy Hot or something for soreness, you know. Like, I have this Tiger, which I still do have. I didn't get rid of because it's still good. It's good until uh, April. And this one does definitely stink. Oh, yeah. It's very strong. So, you definitely want to use gloves to put this on. So I would keep them for that. Or if I'm in the kitchen and I'm handling meat. Um, they're, they're good for that. Yeah, so I'm not going to get rid of those. I'm using them. I still have, like, I think four more boxes. I have one open and I have four more boxes left. <sighs> coffee. <sighs> hmm. Because my coffee is almost gone. Let's see. Let's see. Trash bags that I like to use for my small trash cans I have one here and one in the kitchen which I gotta empty that one too I buy these and I use these yes they cost a little bit more money but for me it's worth the price they have a nice scent um, and I like to put them in my trash can um, and I'm, I got plenty so I'm not running out of them anytime soon I have some wipes that I went through the pure Beatman's 1802 Pure Goat's Milk Facial Cleansing Wipes. I use these for my face. I use them for my body. These work everywhere if you want a quick clean up. God, my hair is a mess. And I did get my hair cut. And I'm losing it. How was a piece of hair that just fell off? My bangs are a mess. But I like these. I use them all the time. I went through some of my daytime um cold and flu medicine uh from my allergies these really do help when my allergies are like really bad and i think i was going through this when i had the ammonia and i thought i just wasn't feeling right and i was taking these and it helped i have some Tylenol, a couple of bottles of Tylenol. hold on guys it's been a while <clears throat> How many more of these? All right, what do we got? Okay, I have a bottle of extra strain Tylenol. I used to use these for my husband. Um, they might have been around when he was still here with me. Um, he has since passed away. Uh, I have, yeah, before that was out, I have a couple of the bottles of the ones that I like, Tylenol Rapid Release. I bought some and I filled up a big bottle. These are full. I definitely use a lot of Tylenol. I, um, it helps. It helps with my pain. I really can't take too much of anything else. Oh, sorry. Besides Tylenol because of the one kidney that I have. But these do help when I get really pain and stuff. And they help a little bit. Help ease it a little bit. And then I take a Tylenol PM. 
So I have a couple of bottles of those. I filled up a bottle that I have in my bedroom. So I keep it in my bedroom. And I'll take a couple of those at night. I have some face wash. Uh, the Origin Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleaner. This is nice. Um, right now I don't need any more face wash. I have plenty that I need to go through. These you can definitely feel the beads in it. It's not like my favorite one from Clinique that I used to use that they don't make anymore. Yeah, I'm still mad about that one. But this is nice. It does have a citrus kind of smell with the ginseng and everything. Um, it's good. But right now I don't need anything else because I have stuff now that I'm going through that I need to use up. I have a Beatman's uh, Whip Body Cream Aloe Ivory that I finally finally used up. Um, I think I had this open for, I think I opened this up in February. It might have been open before then, I don't remember. I've had it for a little while. It, I, I, go through, I don't go through these really fast because I have other scents that I like too. I also have a bar of soap. Um, this is the second bar of soap that I went through with this tub. Maybe the third. I don't know. I don't remember when I opened this up I know when I was in the hospital with my husband, I had it in my travel bag, um, and I had the soap, and I did open the soap up at the hospital. This might have been already open, but I can't tell you, because I, I really don't remember. That was back in February, and I finally took this out of the overnight bag, and I started using it, um, and I, as you see, I used it up. This is very nice scent. A very light, clean scent. Like I said, it's aloe and ivory. And I think they discontinued this from Beatman's. So I try to stock up on it the best I can. I know I have, I think I have more soap. More soap. And I think I have more of the body cream. I have to look. But I think I do. So I'm good for right now. But I use that in the summer. So now we're getting into the fall scents. I'm going to get some fall scents out. I have... I have some of um, my Bath Body Works cherry, black cherry Merlot. Well, the scent it was nice. I finally found this underneath this empty bottle. I think I was going to use this because I have a big bottle of their Pureless, whatever they call this stuff. God, the dust. Oh, man, there's a lot of dust. Um, this was underneath my cabinet. I was going to use this to fill this up from the big bottle that I have. I don't use this to wash my face anymore. I've heard stuff about it that it has pepper and stuff like that. And that's not really good for your skin. But I do use it to wash my makeup brushes. I'm not going to let that go to waste because this stuff is very expensive. So, what little bit I have left in that bottle that's underneath my bathroom cabinet, I use to wash my makeup brushes when I put makeup on. You know, when I use makeup. I have some denture stuff. It's dust, guys. Um, yeah. Finally went through a box of this. It takes me a while to go through them. We have some vitamins, I think. We have my vitamin B2. That was recommended from this my ear specialist. The ear, nose, and throat doctor. Wanted me to take these. And he also wanted me to take some of the CO whatever Q10 stuff, which I have to get these off of Amazon. I'm on auto ship because um, you can't really find them in the store and they're very expensive when you try to buy them at the store, if you find them. Then I have my Clinique, Clar Clinique. Claritin allergy medicine, which I am out, but my I bought my husband some allergy medicine before he passed away. So I have his that now that I'm using at night. Um, we'll see how it goes. Right now, not that bad. Right now it's okay. Um, so I'm going to use up his before I buy any more of these. Because I just purchased like two or three bottles of that before he passed away. And that's what, like three months supply. And I'm going to go ahead and use that. Use that up. Some patches, cool and hot, cheaper store brand. They work just like Icy Hot. 
just the same. Yeah, just a little bit cheaper. I have some whites. I would have had more, but I just threw the other pack away. I've been using the wipes. I still have. I keep them um, with me when I hurt my arm. I still can't like reach back all the way to clean myself, so I have to use some wet wipes and think of a clever way, clever, clever way to do that. Yeah. Then I have two of the Beatman's 1802. I have what set was this? Yangling and two rows, whatever they call. Uh, not my favorite set, but since I had a pack of it, I, I used it just to help keep clean up, you know, just a quick clean up. And then I have the fresh air, which I still have more fresh air because I was on auto ship for my husband because I was using them for him. And there was times that I couldn't, you know, like bathe him or give him a shower because my back would be hurting. Mm. Coffee. Then let me see. Some Q tips. Finally use oh god the dust. All the dust is in here. Woo! Sorry guys, you see all those little dust particles flying around. Ah. Uh, so I finally took what I had left in here and put them into a little small container so I can get rid of this big old box. Yeah. It's in the bedroom somewhere. Oh, I got some of my more of the cheap icy hot stuff DC health this is from look at all the dust flying around that's from that bag it gets dusty but this is from Dollar General I said they work just as good as icy hot um, some more cold medicine yep when I wasn't feeling good oh my god the dust is terrible sorry Ooh, watch when I watch this back all the dust flying around here but I was using these when I wasn't feeling good I think it's because of the ammonia and it's also my allergies but I think a lot of time I think it was ammonia mostly because it's not full yet Ooh, but it's getting there Ooh. sorry more Tylenol I told you I think it's been some time since I did this um I think the last one I did was when John passed away, but I don't think I have it up yet. I don't remember. I'll have to look. Did I put that up? I, I really don't remember. Um, but I have some more rapid Tylenol. Definitely go through this. I like the rapid Tylenol because it does work faster than the other Tylenol. So that's why I get this one. I have to put this up so I can get to it. Let me... Out, guys. I'm trying not to use my shoulder too much. Some more. Yep. It's that time of year when you have to use these these because you're not feeling good. Alright, I'm going to take these out and then I'll go through them with you. So me bending down here. Trying to get them. I gotta get a smaller bag. Because there's definitely a lot of dust that comes in this bag. Whew, we're getting it. We're getting it. It has been some time since I've done one. Got the dust on that one. A lot of cat hair, too, though. Alright. Alright. Sorry if y'all see a lot of dust. I get to the end of the bag. It gets really dusty. I have some body cream. I think I'm throwing this out because it didn't smell good. Yeah. It's supposed to have a peach smell. Um, it doesn't smell like peaches. So, I think it's supposed to be a peach smell. Or I didn't like the smell. It's no English leaf. I didn't like the smell. I don't like the smell. I've had it for a while. It's old. I think it just went bad. Uh, so I'm going to throw it out. I don't use it. I had some old Jergens uh, cream. I think I even like, yeah, I opened up the hole bigger and I was pumping some in it. I would take this to work when I was working nights because my hands would get so dry. It's 
time to throw it away. I've been using this for my shoulder and my knees, the maximum strength odor-free asper cream with lanocaine, 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 whatever they call it. It does help a little bit, it does help. Um, so, I've, and I already got more. Went and purchased another one. Some more soap. Definitely like my Bath Body Works soap. Not Bath Body Works. Ugh. Didn't really care for the Bath Body Works soap. This is my Beatman's soap. Um, this is Honey Orange Blossom. This one smells awesome. And it lasts on my skin. I use the soap and I use the, the body cream lotion. And I can smell almost throughout the whole day. Because it smells so good. I have some hand cream. This is from Bath Body Works. The Shea Butter. This is my favorite hand cream. But it's so hard to find it. This is when it used to be five bucks. I think it's what seven or eight dollars now. Yeah, I like this. I think I got a, maybe one or two left of these. I got one in my purse now, but it's hard, it's hard to find. I tried to find one the last time. I had a coupon. I think I had to get one free, and I couldn't find it. But I had to get something else. Some old toothpaste that was in the. I think this was in the shower. Um, I would have I still have my husband's toothbrush in there. I haven't took the toothbrush out yet. Wow, it's still in there. But I had that in there. And I would give when I gave him a shower, I would shave him, you know, brush his teeth and wash his hair and I would do it all um there. So I finally threw the tooth the toothpaste away, but I still have his toothbrush. Okay, so, um, I have some BB hair dresser, invisible oil, heat and UV protection primer that I use in my hair. I have a full size now that's in my medicine cabinet, and I also have one that's backed up. I bought like a kit, and I have that one too. Excuse me, guys, hold on. It still hurts. It's, it's, um... The pain is definitely still there. Anyway, I do like this. I use it all the time. As you heard, I have one in my bathroom cabinet now that I use. And I have another one backed up. I finally went through one of my uh, Wild Mad Madagascar Vanilla Body Mist. Um, this is my favorite vanilla scent. From Bath Body Works. I love this. And I think I have another one left. I kind of stocked up on it. Because they were discontinuing this scent. And if you want like a nice vanilla scent. Um, this smells great. This is really nice. I just wish they didn't have the alcohol in it. Because when you spray it. You can still smell that little bit of alcohol. But I would spray it all over my clothes. And stuff. And it smells good. Their hand lotion. Definitely. I remember... Being at work one time and I had the body, little travel size body lotion. I still think I have that around here somewhere. And I was on the register. And I was doing a night shift. And my hands would get so dry and I just put some on my hands. And I would rub it in the hands. And had the guys, the people coming in after we left the bar. And they would stop by and you know, get something to eat. And I remember a guy and this girl coming and the guy said, Wow, is that you? What is that? What is that? That smells really good. And I showed him. He goes, that smells good. Where'd you get this? And I told him. And he goes, oh man, I gotta, I gotta get that. I said, they're discontinuing it. You can't find it no more. You have to order it online. And he goes, can I put some of this on my hands? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. But he loved the scent. And it's such a nice vanilla scent. He really loved it. I don't know if he went online to find it. But I said, you have to find it online. <laughs> Okay, I do have some of my collagen. This was nice. I got this off of Amazon. Um, I'm going through the skinny fit now that I ordered. I'm almost out of that. I need to get some more of the collagen. Um, but I'm got to wait till I get some money. But this is nice. I got it off of Amazon. I did like it. I mean, didn't have no flavor. It, it was good in my coffee in the morning. Then I have my favorite 
steak seasoning, guys. This is awesome. This is the Ken Kinders. Yeah, Kinders. I think that's if I'm saying that right. Rub. It's a Kinders Rub. Buttery Steakhouse. Yes, and I put the date that I opened it. It was 3 16 20, 2022. 20, uh, and. I need to put the date on the other one. So I just opened the other one up. This is good on steaks. Oh my god, this is so good. I would use mostly this. And then I finally found the old, kind of old, old season, steak season. And I put a little bit of that. But this one I love. And I have another full size because I bought two of them. Um, Lee from Lazarus Homestead was the one that got me onto this. She told me about this because she had some like sample packages or something and she was saying how awesome it tastes on steak. Especially if you like a buttery flavored steak. And this is awesome. I really like this. This tastes so good on a steak. You don't have to have A1 or um, what's the other steak sauce. You don't have to have that when you put, see, put some good seasoning and stuff on it. You don't need all that other stuff on there. Then I have some <coughs> excuse me some onions, some Thrive Life. Um, I noticed that my onions, I had to, f I had to finish using these up. They, the, they were starting to get a little, I guess, moist. My house is, it has a lot of moisture in it, um, because my refrigerators were starting getting rusty, and yeah, my freezers start getting rusty. There's a lot of moisture in it. I needed a dehydrator. I can't afford to buy one. They're like, what, a few hundred bucks, if not more? So I can't really afford to uh, buy one. But I did notice, and I opened this up in March, and I did notice that they were starting to get a little bit, like, sticking, sticking together. The moisture was getting to them. So I finally did one ahead, and I used them up the other day when I was fixing some steak. And that's how I use up my seasoning. But it's just, it's not the product. They were still good. Um, and I still, like I said, I still had time because I opened this up in March. And I usually try to, so that you should use it a year after you open it. But it's just my house is very, has a lot of moisture in it. A lot of moisture. And like I said, I use it. I use them. I need a de. I, I need a, a dehydrator. Is that what they call it? But um, I can't afford a dehydrator for my house. I don't need a hydrator in here. What, is it, what do they call them? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Is it a dehydrator for your house? I don't remember. I, I'm thinking that's it. Um, my strawberries. I was using for my drinks because I opened one in June and it wasn't open in July, and I was just going through them too fast because I had the watermelon crystal light. Wild, I mean, yeah, crystal light wild strawberry. And I was putting them in my cup with some ice and putting strawberries on top. But I was just using them up so fast because I really liked the wild strawberry. So I stopped doing that. And I have two of them that I use. I already have a third one that's open. But I had stopped using the dehydrated strawberries because I was, like I said, going through them too fast with my watermelon lemonade from Crystal Light. I'm sorry, not watermelon lemonade. Wild strawberry. My wild strawberry crystal light. I got watermelon lemonade on my brain. And then I have a couple of skincare products. Well, one skincare, one lip. My Clinique Moisture Surge. I finally used this up. Finally. I had two of these. I gave one to my boss. kind of wish I didn't now. Because I really do like this. But, guys. I noticed that... I guess because it soaks into my skin more, it soaks into my skin better than some of the other stuff. Because right now I'm using my ginseng by Origin. Um, and that, I notice it's on top of my skin. So I'm thinking because this one would soak into my skin, it definitely kept it more hydrated. I do like Clinique. I am using some of their other stuff now that I have. Um, but... <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll repurchase this anytime soon because I have a lot of stuff now. If I do, I think I would try, because I think this was the gel, but I think I would try maybe their liquid, their lotion. 
in this because I noticed as I'm getting older, I need more moisture. And I felt this one wasn't giving me the moisture that I need. But it also because I was also mixing products with it. So maybe that's why too. Because I was doing, you know, like a little cocktail of different stuff and then putting it on my skin. And I felt a few times that my I didn't feel that my skin was hydrated enough. So I don't know. But I know there are other clinic stuff that I'm using now when I use it is good. But right now I'm using my um, ginseng by Origin um, for brightener. And that one I can definitely tell that it's on. I think that one sits on my skin more than this one. I need to do a review. It's hard to say. I don't know. But <coughs> probably a piece of just like a piece of dust. Whew. But I do have one for my lips. This is the Laneige, Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the vanilla. I finally went through one of my Laneige. I'm working on a berry. I think a berry right now of this size. So it's gonna be it'll be a while before I have another one. I do like the jars. And this one did have a, a vanilla set. It was nice. I did like it. And I made sure I used it all. As you see, there ain't nothing left in that bad boy. I used it up. I do like using these at night for my lips. I notice I can put it on my lips and wake up. And I can still feel like I still have some on it. And my lips do feel like they have been moisturized. I have some hydration in my lips. Because when you get older, as you see, you get these fine lines around your lips. Um... The older you get, the more you get. So I'm trying to keep my skin hydrated with products and stuff. And not having the best of luck. Just got to find some good stuff. All right. That was fast. That is it, guys. I have used all... Yeah, that's all of my um, my empties. I'm glad I went ahead and did it now So because the bag wasn't totally full full like the last time I did it but it was getting up there and I wanted to go ahead and get this film for y'all now I'm going to go jump in the shower real quick and get ready to go to my physical therapy alright that's all for me for right now y'all have yourself a nice day and I will get this up as soon as I can this is what September 14th I think I have one before this I think but don't quote me on it because I don't remember. I have to go through my videos and see. But I do have videos that need to go up first before I can get this one up. Alright guys, that's it for now. Have a nice day. Love you. And I will be talking to y'all later. Bye for now.